What's going on guys, this is Sam, and at their March event today, Apple announced a new framework called ClassKit, and the reason this is important, the reason I'm talking about this here is because that is going to be included in the iOS 11.4 beta. I had absolutely no inclination, no clue that we would be seeing an iOS 11.4 beta, considering that iOS 11.3 isn't even out for everyone yet. With iOS 9 and iOS 10, we did not see a .4 update. Both of those stopped at .3. With iOS 9.3 and iOS 10.3, the last time we saw a .4 update was with iOS 8 when Apple Music was added. And like Apple Music was the main focus of iOS 8.4, it could totally be plausible that ClassKit and that framework will be the focus of iOS 11.4. ClassKit's a really good idea. I think it will change the way that teachers and students interact in the classroom. At the same time, if you're not in school right now, specifically in grade school or even high school, you're probably not gonna care about this at all. However, it is a good idea. It's gonna allow teachers and students to exchange information and view projects and do things in a centralized application. So just like with HomeKit, developers can integrate their apps into the centralized home app. Once they've put the HomeKit framework into their third-party apps, uh, this is gonna be the exact same thing. So educational developers can use ClassKit in their third-party apps, and then that information will be synced to one centralized app, which is called Schoolwork. The best way to think of it is that the Schoolwork app, like the Home app, is gonna be the only thing that you and me ever interact with. It's that front-facing UI that we would use to turn on our lights if we were using the Home app, or to submit assignments if we're using Schoolwork. Where HomeKit for the Home app or ClassKit for the Schoolwork app is what makes the integration of all the apps into one centralized place possible. It's gonna be a great feature when it launches. I wish I had something like this in my grade school or high school when I was still going through those grades. Now I'm in college and something like this would never be used at a university level. It feels very simple, very basic. There are many other platforms like Sakai or Blackboard that basically do the same thing. For schools that start using the Schoolwork app, I think it's gonna be fantastic, but for everybody else not in a classroom or a school that's gonna support this, everybody who's out of school, this really doesn't have any relevance to you. Aside from that, we don't know much else about iOS 11.4 just yet. We know that it is coming in the future. Apple has not given us a release date though, so we could come later today, tomorrow, next week, two months down the line. We don't know just yet. I assume it will be coming sooner rather than later. Also, iOS 11.3 has still not been released. I thought we would see the final release version today, but at the time of making this video at about 1.47 p.m. Central Time, we haven't seen it just yet. In iOS 11.4, I really hope we see AirPlay 2. That was planned to be a part of iOS 11.3, but then got cut randomly in iOS 11.3 Beta 2. There's a chance it could come bundled with the final release version, but it's not looking that great. And also messages in iCloud has been uh, phrased in the release notes as being used for evaluation and testing purposes. So we don't know if messages in iCloud is coming with iOS 11.3 or if that will be held off until something like iOS 11.4. These are features that Apple announced back in June of 2017 that have still not fully made their way into iOS 11. So I hope we see them soon considering that the iOS 12 beta is just around two, two and a half months away. And as always, I love hearing your thoughts. Do you think iOS 11.4 is a good idea? Do you like the idea of the schoolwork app and the class kit framework? Or are you just plain excited to see a new iOS update that we didn't know was coming? Let me know down below in the comment section. While you're there, if you enjoyed the video, it does help me out if you drop a like and hit subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this in the future. If you wanna help support the channel, you can head over to shop.iupdateos.com. I've got this and three other shirts that just launched. I'm really excited for you all to check it out. That'd be incredible if you did. For now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great, and I'll talk to you in my next video.